we want to have a look now at how measuring angles in degrees or in smaller uh, increments, arc minutes and arc seconds, can help us find the distance from uh, our Earth or star, our, our solar system to uh, fairly close uh, stars. So we're all familiar with the fact that we've got 360 uh, degrees in uh, one circle, if you like. Now, with one degree, we can divide that one degree up into minutes. And there are 60 minutes in one degree. Again, we can divide a degree, uh, a minute, up into seconds. This, these are called arc minutes, and these are called arc seconds. So this one here is an arc sec or arc second. And what that means is that this angle here would be measured at 60 degrees, and you can see the degree sign, 35 minutes, arc minutes, and 18 arc seconds. So those, that's the kind of uh, small angle that we're looking at when we're looking at the parallax <coughs> angle for stars. So here's a summary of what we're saying. One degree equals 60 arc minutes. And there's the symbol. One arc minute is 60 arc seconds. And that means, of course, that one degree is equal to 3,600 arc seconds. And again, you see the symbol, therefore, arc seconds. Another way of looking at it, uh, looking at that is to say that one arc second is one three hundred and sixtieth, um, three thousand six hundredth of a degree. Now, the relevance of all of that is uh, when it comes to looking at what we call the arc second. Now, that should be one word there. That's normally one word. This is a very, very small uh, parallax angle. Now, if it is one arc second, if that angle is one arc second, and this angle here is a right angle, and this distance here is one uh, astronomical unit, that defines a new unit that we have for distance. That is one parsec. So a parsec is a unit of distance. It's a very large unit of distance and it's defined in some respects as this. If I move on to the next slide, a parsec was defined as the distance at which one astronomical unit subtends or stands on an angle of one arc second. So what that means is this. It's this, uh, it's this distance here. So that is a parsec. It's a distance which exists in a situation where we've got the Earth here and the Sun here. So this is one astronomical unit, that distance there. That's the average one, uh, one astronomical unit. And here, if this is one arc second, then this distance here is one parsec. So, as I said, that angle there, very, very small angle, one arc second. And the symbol that's given for that is the symbol P. So, and that there would be the distance, the distance of one parsec. The symbol for parsecs, PC. So the distance of one parsec used to be defined as the distance from the sun at which the radius of the Earth or uh, radius of the Earth's orbit subtends or stands on, that's sub subtending or standing on, one an arc of one, sorry, an angle of one arc second. 
So it's been recently changed by the International Astronomical Unit uh, to be exactly this figure here. And I'll go through that in a moment. And what that means in terms of more familiar uh, distance measurements is that uh, one parsec is 3.09 by 10 to the 16 metres, or if you like, 3.26 light years. Light years and parsecs, uh, and particularly parsecs, are the units that we use for astronomical distances. Why? Because that gives us smaller overall numbers. Now, just to explain a little bit about the mathematics associated with that, I hope you can see here we've got D, S, D, and D down here. So E, S is the, is the distance from the sun to the earth. D is the distance uh, that is going to be one parsec. So D there is the position of the star that we're looking at. Now, tan of this angle, that is ES, this distance here, over this distance, SD, uh, would be tan of one arc second. Now, if we rearrange this, we can get this distance here, D, equal to this distance, ES, Earth to the Sun, or Sun to the Earth, over tan of one arc second. Just rewriting that, we find that this tan of one arc second is very, very approximately, or quite approximately, quite exactly, um, this number here the same. So tan of one arc second is the same as one arc second. And we can see that with our calculator. If we find the tan of one arc second, so that's tan one divided by 3,600. per sequence, and we get a figure of 2.77, etc., times 10 to the minus 4. Now, clear that, and we get 1 divided by 3,600. We get the same number. In other words, 1 the, the tan of one arc second is equal to, in value, one, uh, one arc second. So what we have then is one astronomical unit. So this is the astronomical unit there. And this is one arc second now. Sorry, this is, uh, yes, one arc second. And we're converting that uh, to radians. Now radians of course will give us the the distance around an arc. Remember our definition of a radian but if you don't don't worry too much. Okay so simplifying that that comes out as this number here 648,000 divided by pi. So that is the new definition of a parsec. Uh, not that this is all that important. Okay, we just I'm just going through it so that uh, it's of interest, might be of interest of some people. Now we can translate that to an actual number and simplify the pi there, and we've got then uh, that many astronomical units. Again, it explains why we don't use astronomical units as a an astronomical means of measuring. This gives us a very simple, useful equation. It means that when we measure the angular, the uh, angular parallax in arc seconds, we can derive the distance of the star in parsecs simply through this equation. So it's a very handy method of getting the distance from uh, Earth or the Sun 
to relatively close stars.